Hello everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to show you the completed quilt covered journal. One of the things I did with this journal that I'm so excited about is to add some book hardware to the center of the journal and let these beautiful charms hang on the outside because this is a soft cover journal. It is just one signature and I wasn't sure how that would turn out. I really, really love it. The journal is big enough to handle it. This is the center of the journal and these are where the little tabs from the brad came through. I laid them down flat and glued this pretty piece of fabric in the center that also always shows me where the center of my journal is. Around the ring I tied three pieces of hemp cord of different lengths and I have just some pretty charms from my desk. This one came from Jay. It says handmade. We have some beads. Karen, thank you for the beads. And I have just a few pretty charms that came from work. My beautiful reuse center in Durham called the Scrap Exchange. You probably remember the front. I sewed on this little cameo. I also added a charm that I really like. Green velvet with a rhinestone in the center. The very first page. We tried out alcohol inks. Our moon charm. This page was all about quilt squares. Our beautiful, wonderful Frida Kahlo. That's what this page was about. On this page, we took dark, dark acrylic paint and then lightened it up with white jelly pen. And I put some dark spots on mine with alcohol ink. My grandmother, the queen. Three generations. We used a straw on this page to blow the wet alcohol ink across the page. What happens when you stamp on photograph paper and then add inks and an ink pen? Gold paint, one of my favorites. On this page, we made a beautiful envelope out of paper. This paper had been stamped with some botanical images and it's decorated up with some beautiful fabric. Our mirror image page. Paint one side with acrylic paint and then press the pages together and when you pull them apart, you have a beautiful, beautiful painting. Our little metal prong fasteners. An attempt at making images look aged. Turned out really pretty. Beautiful layering, electrical tape, nature, we added texture with dried moss. Beautiful images, gold paint, layers of fabric and burlap. A collage with a very deliberate laying down of the images with very little overlap. We used flower petals on paper clips. Eco pounding, pretty charms. This page was inspired by my cat, and we used Sharpie to block out letters we didn't want to use in order to create a statement that we did want to use. Practicing lettering. Lots and lots of gesso with everyday items from packaging and little bits and pieces of modern day ephemera. Bright, bright flowers from fabric and a vintage label to make a garden wall. Here we are currently and I wanted to very quickly tell you about this page. I had intended to do a video to show you this processing, but I ended up not having the complete video. I'm not sure what happened to the recording. This is all about being yourself. I have a folder full of pages and quotes and things that inspire me. This doll was in that folder and when I pulled it out, I thought, you know, she needs to go in this journal and I need to use the quotation from the artist who did this. Hope Rael Morgan is the doll artist, and I included her name so I can remember who did it. She said, be yourself. It wasn't until I stopped trying to emulate others that I started making dolls that I loved and was proud of. 
The missing ingredient in your art may be you. How powerful is that? Put yourself into your art and don't be afraid to do that. Here's a ticket to be yourself. Large charm from some textiles. That was from some beaded upholstery fabric. This was my very last spread in the book. And I just went ahead and covered everything with gesso, put down some colors that I loved, and folded the pages together and pulled them apart and let them dry. In the center, I had folded a page in half to use some of the lace on that rather than on an outside edge. We also did this to make the journal not keep getting more and more chunky. I glued some pages together to cut down on the amount of spreads that we would be doing because the journal is getting wonderfully chunky. This is the way we want it when we're looking at it and holding it, but it can become kind of cumbersome to work in when it's too chunky. So I used one of the Maya Angelou quotations that we had in the kits. When we give cheerfully and accept gratefully, everyone is blessed. I feel like I practice giving cheerfully more consciously than I'm able to accept gratefully. Sometimes it's hard to accept things. We feel undeserving or we feel like it's too much for the giver, but it really does bless the person who wants to give and who wants to share. So I've tried to practice just saying thank you and then paying it forward. And then when we turn to the very back, I have put down some tissue paper over the page that was gray. This was the last page in the book. I love images of old dolls. I love the French dolls, the composite dolls from Europe, just those really old, beautiful dolls. So I included a picture of a doll and I put the end. My journal entry, the very last one for this book, I looked out and found a calendar that is part of a country diary, the Edwardian Lady. This calendar is from 1991, so I did cut out the very center of the front to make a very tall card, and my journal entry for this very last page or entry is a little bit personal, so I'm not going to turn it over, but I wrote that entry on the back of this. This is a card that I found, um, the artist's name is on the back, Carolyn Bosley, and I love the colors in that. I love too that the polka dots tie in right here. So I just put that back in the pocket and it ties together all of the yellow, all of the blue. We have this beautiful piece of fabric from the vintage linen that made the pocket. And that is the entire journal. I can't believe we're done with this. I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much for doing this with me. This has been so much fun. It has been incredible. I've learned so much. I think everyone has learned a little bit about their own art, their own style. I am planning another series, a Journal With Me series. Right now, it's on the back burner because this weekend I am doing an art festival and I have to get some things ready for that show. I'm way behind on that. So I'm just so so very happy and so proud to have this Journal With Me series completed. I'm sorry that there were lapses in some of the days, but hey, we got it done. We got the whole thing done, and I just appreciate you so much for supporting me and letting me do this with everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.